Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Prophet Muhammad وسلم, once told us that the purpose of his mission and the purpose of Islam is to perfect our character. With that in mind, I want to discuss one of my favorite topics, and the topic is about the concept known in Arabic as Ihsan. So what is Ihsan? Ihsan is often defined as excellence, but I want to share a more comprehensive definition, and this definition comes from Imam Raghib Isfahani. Imam Raghib Isfahani was an 11th century scholar. He is one of the early commentators of the Quran, and he is one of the earliest scholars of the Arabic language. In his writings, Imam Raghib Isfahani defined Ihsan as having three components. Number one, Ihsan means to do more than our duty. Number two, it means take less than we are owed. And number three, it means to do both those things gracefully. In other words, Ihsan means go the extra mile and give people more than what they deserve. Justice means doing our duty. Ihsan means going above and beyond our duty. Justice means fulfilling our obligation. Ihsan means doing more than we are obligated to do. Ihsan, our excellence in our conduct, means we are always one level above the other person's conduct. We treat the person we're interacting with at least one level above their treatment of us. When somebody is rude, we are still polite. When somebody does not deserve our kindness, we are still kind to them. When we have the ability to take revenge on somebody, we choose to forgive them. Ihsan in our conduct means to have excellent conduct without expecting anything in return. It means showing kindness to others for no reason other than the sake of Allah. And obviously, there are dozens, if not hundreds of ways to show Ihsan in our conduct. Giving somebody the benefit of the doubt when they make a mistake is Ihsan. Helping another person with no expectation of reward is Ihsan. Being polite to people we interact with is Ihsan. Expressing gratitude to people is Ihsan. Remember, the two simplest ways to show Ihsan is by showing an extra level of kindness and politeness in our words and through our manners. This is why there is such a big emphasis on words and manners in Islam. And this is why we should always remember to treat others the way we want to be treated. As we conclude, let's talk about the rewards for Ihsan. In the Quran, Allah praises those who practice Ihsan like He praises no other group of people. There are many rewards explicitly mentioned in the Quran for those who demonstrate Ihsan in their lives. But for the sake of time, let's talk about one of them. In Surah Rahman, Allah says, Is the reward of Ihsan anything but Ihsan? A recurring theme, a repeated theme in the Quran is that Allah will treat us the way we treat others. In this verse, Allah is telling us that when we do Ihsan to people, Allah will do His Ihsan to us. Now think about this. As humans, we are imperfect, while it is Allah who is perfect. But when I do my imperfect Ihsan on a person, Allah does His perfect Ihsan on me. When I give another person 
more than they deserve. Allah will give me more than I deserve. When I do a small act of imperfect ihsan on the level of a human, Allah blesses me with His abundant and perfect ihsan on the level of being the master of the universe.